What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we have a little bit more to do. Uh, and to start, we're gonna go after the flame braziers. So they're right, these things. I need to get six. Six of them. We're just gonna go along and, uh, you know, just one not have one. either. I'm just going to take my time, keep my eyes out, and hope we can get them all. So far, we only have one. We're not off to a very strong start. Awesome. That was, that was great. This being like a little bit of a well shit show of a fight. Okay, maybe I should like pull up pictures because I have found one brazier so far. I'm not feeling very confident about this. This was one of the shortcuts. Yeah, alright, let me try going this way. Oh, 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 there's one. Okay. So it looks like they're all hanging off of... Yeah, they're all on these red towers. I need to... First and foremost, keep my eye out for... Red Towers. Don't think there's any towers over here. No, maybe there's one. We got three so far. Neither of those have one. Oh, this is okay. Well, we found the path, so I got three left, and this is the door. That is, that's okay. Not exactly what I wanted, but uh, let me just, just. For austerity, let me make sure there isn't one, like, waiting right here. There was. Okay, I'm glad I came. Two more. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Uh, oh, there's one. Uh, how do I... Ah! need to be like over there. I think that's like near the very entrance. Yeah, it is like literally at the entrance. Okay, and we got one more. Yeah, there's actually there's pictures here. Let me let me look at these. Um, okay. Well, the pictures are tiny. Uh, I think they got that one. I know I got that one. Oh, the last one. Okay. Like by a wall. By a wall. That one's weird looking. It's like it's almost like in inside of a cave. Huh. I'm gonna guess it's like... It's this 
way? No. So weird. It looks like they dropped. Let me just push towards the end. And hopefully I follow. I mean, I managed to find a bunch of them just stumbling around. Not here. That's a battle arena. That is the edge of the ice path. Let's see. Um, um, boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Okay, all I'm finding is stuff that just talks about lighting the six. So we just need to, I guess, put. No, this doesn't. Uh, I came through here. I didn't see any earlier. It almost looks like something like this. Like they. There was a thing like. Let me zoom in on this picture and see. Uh huh. I did you. I did the owl. I did that. Okay. Yeah, it's on. It's wherever there's a. There's a wall on the right. And some boxes and a platform that you could fall off of. All I know is the shit that I'm reading on Google is exactly the fucking reason that I started doing my own walkthrough guides. There's like, there's six. Just get the six. Like, why even call this? There's like three different how to unlock true ending guides that I've looked at. And instead of guiding you and being like, this is how you're getting the thing. It's just like, yeah, there's six. Just go get them. Like, thanks. It's real fucking helpful. Super helpful. I never would have been able to, to, to figure out where those six are. Hang on, hang on, this looks like it. Oh, god damn, it's right there. Oh, now I can close that. Okay, that door will have one for us. Now I just gotta remember how to get over there. I think it was this way. Funky stones. Okay. Uh, so we did the owls. We did the stones. Next, I need to go. There's a boss fight. And then there's the urn puzzle. I don't I might be able to solve the urn puzzle and skip collecting the seeds. We're going to test that first. Because that's the thing that's either going to make me happy or make me very, very sad. Because if I can just cheat the puzzle and not have to do all the seeds, that saves a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, um, an optional garden in the northwest. Instead of enemies, you'll find a puzzle. You can grab a life seed to the left of the puzzle. To solve the puzzle, your little crow needs to break pots in specific order. Oh, no, this isn't... Hang on a second. I don't think that's what I need to do. This thing says, um... 
You need to break the pots in the order. Break the pots in this order. Secret path. Follow it for a hidden area to collect the rusty garden trowel. Um, you earn a hidden achievement called plot head. Oh no, the secret area is required for the true ending. So don't forget it once you've unlocked death's door. Okay, so maybe we can go and just do that now. Let's go do that. If I can, if I can just do the puzzle and get the key, that's fucking great. I do not need to. I, I don't even want to think about having to, to hunt down where seeds are missing. You know yeah, let's do it. Pots are laid out in a 5x5 five five grid. You must break the pots in the order shown below, starting with 1 and ending with 5. What the fuck? Pot 3, 1x. That doesn't make sense. 3, 1x, blank x. try and find so the solution here is is completely useless um, break several pots across a 5x5 five five grid in a specific order if you're successful you'll knock a hidden path okay here we go let me um all right, you know what? Let me that. Wait, now I fucked up. That. that and break that and break that yeah the one puzzle the one puzzle had them numbered the other puzzle said uh three one x x x x five x x two x x four like i don't know what the fuck they were trying to spell out with that Anyway, we got them. Okay, pots are done. Secret entrance. Okay. And is there more over here? I think that's, I think this is the door that I need to go through after I've planted all the seeds. And it looks like it's missing 
Some seeds. Oh, please, game. Uh, da, 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 da. Once you have broken the pot, hidden staircase is revealed and have access to pot. Said secret garden, several requirements that are needed to unlock the ending. Alright, let me see. I did the ghosts, I did the owls. So you have to do 50 plants. I did the average chest, torches, octopus. I gotta do, there's the grave digger. Oh man. Oh man. Um, let me. Let me go do the grave digger first, and then I'll worry about potheads. Secret magical garden. I don't even know where he's at. The thing I read is that I could, you could talk to Pothead. And he would tell you where to go. I gotta go to Betty's lair. Outside the cave entrance, series of crystals. Smash the crystals. Alright, where's Betty at? Let's go do this. I really hope I'm only missing like two of those things, but I don't I don't feel like I am. I feel like I'm missing a ton. And I don't even have the seeds, I don't think. So then I'd have to find the seeds. Betty's lair. A hidden path. Ah, power of the moon. All right, now we gotta return to the grave digger. And then after that, it's just getting the seeds done. Oh, wait, wait, there's seeds right there. I only have one seed left, and I feel like there's more than one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucked. I'm just fucked. There's no other... Well, we, we're done the old watchtowers, that's... <laughs> that's done at least. Oh my god, I'm gonna literally have to- I'm gonna have to run the entire goddamn map to find the thing. open so he's not and he's not in his grave
ship. Oh god, he's making zombies. I had a feeling I was getting a little greedy there. And he was almost dead. Look at those cracks. After this, I just gotta find the find the seed. I got the final seeds and I'm golden. Let me unlock the super secret final boss. I don't even know if there's a final boss. I just know it's for final end. There's probably a boss. I mean, I can't imagine them making you go through all this to not have a boss. Oh, god damn. Alright, just fucking end it, bro. Just end it. I fucked up. Just end it. As soon as I got popped right at the start, I was doing really good damage, but just, you know. Oh, I'm just thinking about the seeds. I should have saved the Gravedigger for last. Because it's like, you know, it's fun to overcome a boss. It's not fun to mindlessly hunt around the map for seeds. So I can... I can get down. If I want to be consistent... Get one slash out, and then I gotta back out. No, you bitch! Oh my god, dude! I was just trying to zerg him up so close. I was like, he's almost dead. I just gotta push this in. Let's push it a little bit more. Though now I know I can just go straight balls to the wall on him when uh, when he's in his like little summon phase. I'm gonna do boom, 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 boom. Little that damage big. What the fuck, man? Oh my god! I was getting so close!
I probably needed to hit him with like one more arrow and it was over. I should just go get the health upgrades. Uh, I mean, I'm literally like one, one gem away from having a health bar. And one extra health bar would probably be the, the difference between me dying and me winning here. It would also help if I stop playing sloppy. Like, I know I can beat this. I'm just, like, making... Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. Damn, that was close. I think that was harder than, uh, than Lord of Doors. Okay, now the worst part. We need to get all of the things. Uh, where are they at? Grinding all 50 life seeds. Oh boy. All right, it sounds like I can go. All right, let me just, let me see this. One thing I'm reading says that you can speak to Pothead in his garden and he'll tell you. Like, they have a screenshot showing him being like, try looking around Castle Lockstone in the west. Which, that would make a big difference if he's actually telling us where to go. But I didn't see him over there when we were there. So let me pull this up. Old photograph. Blah, 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 blah. Do I need to go back and... I don't know if I need to go back and talk to Pothead. And be like, hey. It's your boy. Got your thing. Or if he's just there. Let's just run up and see. Because if he really does, if he's really just waiting there and he tells me where to look... I know since looking, I've hit one more, because I hit the one near Betty. See the full door. Let me take a look. All 
All right, it's either one or it's three. I'm really hoping it's one because I only got one seed. Book. Dungeons beneath the ruins. I mean, it's nice that he tells me where to look, but... I don't have the fucking seeds, man. I mean, usually seeds are found near the pots, so I don't, I don't know. I'm in my way. Whatever, we're gonna find it. I know where he wants me to go. And it could be worse. It could be like the witch's place. Going back to the frog area is not that bad. The seeds thing is gonna... If I like find the pot, but not the seed. Oh man, I would be big mad. I'd be so mad. Okay, let's just start here. Okay. Uh, we're going this way first. I can break. Okay. This was one of the secondary entrances, I thought. No, this is still... No, yeah, we're outside. So we cleared that side. Now let's go this way. Now we also have one here. There's this too. I am running out of ideas here. Clearing it, but um, it's it seems like I've done my due diligence already. Path. 
he said beneath the undergrown roots. So he definitely means here and not like the, the Frog King's flooded fortress. There's another one that I've gotten. I feel like I've uh, I feel like I'm I'm being very uh very thorough. But it just doesn't matter. I was missing them. Let me see if there's like uh an actual yeah, here we go. Alright, this thing has a breakdown of every single life seed in the game. Let's see, let's see. Looking at the dungeons. Those are life seed locations. I need to see pots. Okay, come on, show me inside. All right, so here we go. Oh no. No, the guide's not finished. Whoever was taking screenshots stops after the first screenshot inside the ruins. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh God. There's one screenshot of, uh, of this area that I'm in right now. Oh, there's screenshots for everything. It's like one of the starter room ones. Oh, no, this was there was a crow here, but that was it. See, the thing that's killing me is he said like, oh. Should go check beneath the underground ruins. I'm like, all right, I'm beneath them, but we're not seeing anything. Like, I'm checking, and I'm not seeing it. So if it was here at one point, I, I don't know. Unless he went down here, do you mean flooded fortress? The flooded fortress doesn't blow the ruins, though. That's the thing. This doesn't make sense. Shit does not add up. But we're gonna check the fortress, because it's not like I got anywhere else I can go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've come so close to the end. Like, I need... I need it. All I need to do is just plant some seeds. And I get to find out the truth behind the story. I mean, even if I I, I just say fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll Google that goddamn ending just to see what it is. So far, my, my seed finding is not, not going all that well. Ooh. Okay, that's one of the, there's a seed here, there's gotta be a thing here. 
Yeah, that's nice though. Because I knew I was missing two seeds, and that's one of them. So I'm missing one seed and three pots. Just like some Alright, I don't know why that's spawning stuff. I figured for sure that this area was like done. I mean I went through, I killed the boss. Yeah. You know, doesn't add up. Where was I just going that it locked me out and summoned a bunch of assholes? I think it was right here. Yeah, it was. Why this thing's trying to lock me? Like, I've beaten this shit. Don't lock me in. No, oh, there's another one that we've gotten. Maybe it's one right below, right, uh, immediately before the Frog King. Because we're cruising through and some, you know, it, it seems like every pot we find has, has a seed already. one just sitting right here before the boss because I tended to skip those ones a lot. Nothing. Oh, fuck me, man. I... talk to him see if he gives me gives me some different dialogue mushroom sure fl no the flooded fortress is clear overgrown ruins is not clear and the let me go talk to dude again so maybe he'll give me a different different place this time I don't know That I'm even if I find it, that I'm still I'm still short a seed. 
I mean, I'm sure. Uh, fuck. I don't even want to consider it. But the only thing I can think here that would possibly make sense is to, to just follow a like picture guide showing where every seed and where every pot is in the game and then backtracking through to make sure I got them all. God, this pisses me off. It's all he's telling me is check those dungeons. Because the thing is, I've I spent so much time, you know, carefully not using my seeds because I figured, oh, you know, I, I never know when I'll need one. And so, not only have I been essentially punished for my, uh, frugal nature, just, you know, trying to save stuff for, for bad situations, it's, it just came back to, like, super bite me in the ass. Because at the very least, if I had been, uh, you know, if I had been using them as I got them, like every time I found a place, like, oh, put down another seed, put down another seed, um, you know, towards the end of the game, I'd probably be like, oh, I ran out of seeds in X place, you know. I'd know very specifically where, where I ran out of seeds at and what I didn't get. Because that would have bothered me, but having never, you know, been worried about keeping track of them, I'm just salty. Okay, um, that's a thing. This connects. This is like basically a shortcut to just leave, if I remember. It's just to get me to... Yeah, we, thir we pretty thoroughly searched this area. And I don't recall... There, get off of me! I don't recall it being here. Wasn't there one over here in the corner? Yeah, there is. All right, let me try pulling up. Let me see if I can find a uh, seed pot locations thing. Uh, all seed pot locations death store. Um. Oh, wait, I think this person actually... Yeah, alright. I have found images of all of the... pots. So, alright, starting... Alright, so there's the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the entrance, and I'm just gonna follow these... images. To figure it out. Is this one, this is the first one on the list. Okay. And then I have, let me see here, one, two, three. There's three other pots here. One is on a corner with some water and some pillars. Another is by one of the birds that I had saved. And another is by the braziers that we lit up. Is this the bird one? Bird. Not this bird. Different bird. 
The process of elimination. I know it's not that way. What is this way? This way is like our main entrance. What is over to the left? The left, we have the door with the avarice and this path. I'm sorry, let's let's hold on. Well, no, we can just do this path now, I guess. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is pot 31. Pot 30 and pot 29 are still undiscovered. the place I remember that let's buy the pot that I think is missing it's by one of my little little crow buddies so like I had to have seen it at one point or another you know like I, I mean I, I had to there's no way because I couldn't have gotten the crow without getting the pot I mean I would have had to pass by that pot you know let me go down. The so one is by water, which I think is that area that's over here. This is the only area I can think that has enough water for it. There's another crow. Not the crow I'm looking for. Alright, there's that pot, yes. Another that one. So the only pot that I'm missing is pot 30, which is up against a wall by one of the crows that I rescued. If I can just work my way backwards to find those damn crows. Skeletons should have. That should be the giveaway. Let's see, it's, it's steps. It's a set of steps that leads down. And then it's a fight for the crow. Not here. Gotta be a path. There's gotta be like one path that I have not taken. Anywhere else up here, anything else I can do. What does this lead to? I I didn't do that before. Four crows and I can't find the fucker. Killed him. I mean, it has to be... Fuck, I need to like go, I need to, honestly, I'm gonna have to go back and like watch previous episodes. I'm gonna have to watch the path that I took to get each of the four crows. It's a door like this. There's, there's a door like this, but right in front of it, there's a pot and it's right by a crow. And I think that's the one I'm missing. Right now I have one crow. Crow. If I go back to that other room, I had the thing. Does not have crow. Let me try going back this way and see if there's. No. 
I don't know. Man, I don't fucking know. It's driving me insane. It's like, I, I know I've been there. It's literally impossible that I made it this far in the game without walking by this fucking pot. Because the pot is next to a crow. And the crow had to die for me to get this fucking door open. But I can't find the damn thing now. This is first crow. I see to count off my crows, so this is taking this is like my last my last attempt. So this is the south path, southeast path. Southeast path has one crow. As I continue going south. Now I'm going more of like a northeast, but it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? This is stupid. I'm, it's going to take me forever to fucking wander around. Um, oh, god damn. Like, I'm literally, I'm going to have to fucking do the thing looking at these. Even looking at the picture, I don't know where the hell this place is at. That's what's getting me the most here. Like I have a picture showing Hey, you're missing a crow And I'm like, okay And I can't figure out where the fuck to go Maybe it was this way Did this lead me to something? Is this like a, a, a jump back into the dungeon type deal? I guess I'm gonna go back and watch this episode and figure out the path to get to that that uh, seed thing that I missed. And then while I'm at it, uh, I'm probably going to watch my other videos and find the other seed things that I missed. So anyway, once I locate them, I'll probably just remember just to show where they were. I don't know. Maybe not. This is a pain in the dick to finish. We're just gonna... We're just going to figure it out and get it done. So, anyway, closing out here. Next episode, expect the real ending, whether it was a secret final boss or whatever the case is. And I will see you all then.